If you are a web designer using Webflow and want to convert your Figma designs into a live site, this video is for you. I'll show you exactly how to bring your layouts from Figma into Webflow. But not only that, I'll also show you how you can sync your Figma design system with Webflow. This is super useful if your design system lives in Figma, but your site is in Webflow because it keeps everything consistent and saves you from manually updating styles or components one by one. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the whole process in six steps. Thanks to Airlift for sponsoring this video. It's the easiest way to make your WordPress sites fast, no matter how many plugins or heavy pages you have. I have left a special plan linked in the pinned comment below, so make sure to check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Let's start with the basics. In Figma, open the Figma to Webflow plugin from the resources menu. Select the frame or layout you've designed and copy it using the plugin. Then in Webflow, open your project in the designer and paste it in. Your Figma design now appears directly inside Webflow. This method is great for quickly bringing over entire layouts like landing pages or sections, but it's a one-time import. If you want design changes in Figma, you would normally have to re-import everything. That's where Sync becomes a real-time saver for all your projects. Syncing basically requires two parts, the plugin in Figma and the app inside Webflow. In Figma, open the plugin, switch to the Design System Sync tab, and connect your Webflow account. You can connect an entire workspace or just specific sites. Then in Webflow, open your project in the designer, go to the Apps panel and launch the Figma to Webflow app. Because we already authenticated in Figma, the two are now connected and ready to sync. To show this in action, let me create a button in Figma. I'll start with a text layer, add auto layout and resize it into a button shape. Auto layout is important because it translates directly into Flexbox when the design comes into Webflow. Set a fill color and save it as variable. For example, color or brand. Do the same with the border radius, saving it as size slash border radius. Finally, turn the button into a component and give it a clear name. That name will become the component name and the class name in Webflow. Back in Figma plugin, select the components and variables you want to sync. The plugin will list how many it found, click continue, then sync. In Webflow, the app now shows those synced components and variables. Import them and they'll appear in your Webflow designer, ready to use across your site. Now here's where sync works the best. Let's update the brand color and the border radius in Figma because there are variables and the changes instantly apply across all linked components. When you sync again, the Webflow app shows those updates. You can review them, approve them, and the changes apply to your live site, no manual editing required. Remember, this is a one-way sync. Figma is the source of truth. If you rename or restyle something directly in Webflow, it won't sync back. Always make your edits in Figma first. Sometimes syncing introduces conflicts. For example, if you delete an image from a card component in Figma, the Webflow app will flag it as a conflict. You will have two choices. One, accept updates and two, create a new component. This ensures you always control how updates affect your Webflow site. And that's the complete workflow of taking your designs from Figma to Webflow. You can start by converting your layouts with the plugin, which is the fastest way to bring your frames into Webflow and see your design live on the web. From there, setting up the sync gives you a whole new level of control. By creating and syncing components and variables, your design system in Figma becomes the foundation for your site in Webflow. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.